And just so you get an idea, I'm 5'9". And these, uh, whatever you want to call these trees, got to be four feet high. Probably no more than that. If I'm 5'9", that's uh, four or nine in some cases, five feet in some cases. You know, if I come back out, I'll bring a measuring tape and we can figure it out. Now this one's directly across the street from the other. Not quite as bad, but uh, it's got uh, it's got its challenges. Of course, the debris. Now, for whatever reason, the closer you get to the property itself, the house. It, it, it kind of subsides for whatever reason. Of course, we're not reporting on a property, the house itself right now. So that'll be a follow-up video. Now the back of the house or in, yeah, the back of the house, side of the house, however you want to look at it, <laughs> it is that. Matter of fact, this part of it is worse than the other side of the street because the trees are trees, bigger. Okay, I'm venturing in here. Hopefully, uh, I make it out of here. Say, ow, ow. <clears throat> Same issue, dumping, basketballs, and the tires, of course. But it's a little bit crazier than that. Because we got bags and bags of plastic garbage. Plastic garbage bags. And from what I understand, even with a dumpster back here, plastic can't go in the dumpster. Oh, I'm really ambitious. Then you got logs. Tree limbs. And of course, let me back up and see if I get a wide out shot of the forest. So this is forest number two. Not that many tires on this side yet because you know it only takes a matter of time on a future video we'll probably venture into some of these properties so you can see the condition on the inside Now this is a corner property here in the city of Gary. Now I'm gonna point out something interesting. If I pan directly across the street, corner property, jungle in the back, vacant boarded up a little dumping going on back there in the back but it hasn't uh hasn't approached the uh level of what this property is or the one across the street now let's swing across the street so the four corners of where we are all vacant properties 
board it up. Matter of fact, if I did a run of the block, the block is that. But now I'm gonna show you something interesting about this dumping thing with this property directly adjacent to the first property. And this dumping thing has really gotten out of control. It's turned the entire city into a dump, pretty much, which is, it, it, I have no words for it. Of course, the graffiti on the property. Now, that's a brick property that definitely can be brought back to life. I don't know, the roof looks pretty solid. Don't see any breaches. Of course, the garage it has a garage and a rear house. But what you're gonna see in the back of this is what the challenging problem is. Of course, the garage is in such shape, it's, it's gotta come down, we know that. Let me pull back a little bit. But here's where it gets really, really frustrating. Tires. Now, I can't say that this is coming from the residents because this is coming from a tire shop or someone that runs the tire business or whatever that is. Now, the garbage, of course, that is what that is. Okay, hopefully it wasn't too depressing. 